this email address does not belong to the same domain as a site contact form 7 validation error let's quickly take a look at this although I've created a different video where is this coming from why is contact form 7 validation error is showing this well, if you take a look at the domain here it's rankia.com and in this example I've got an email that points to another domain right because contact form 7 is taking that information from general settings of WordPress and it matches that email to this email address and if there is a mismatch then it's going to throw this email address does not belong to the same domain as the site so therefore if I just remove the different domain and make sure that this email has a domain address same as the WordPress site that it is installed on and save changes that error message will be gone now it is perfectly logical and there is many reasons whereby you may want to use contact form 7 and have different domain information here now I've got a solution because one of the commenters of my blog working for a client of his saying okay you know what I need to send the form just the way that he wanted but he doesn't want his client to see that error message now, you can either change the domain to match the domain that the WordPress is installed on or you can actually use this function that I've created copy this go to appearance go to editor appearance editor and locate functions.php for your theme be very thoughtful when modifying this file here let's go towards the end of it and let's just paste that function basically I've just created a CSS rule that will actually not display that error warning and you may find it of use to you as well let's update this sample functions.php so make sure that you place that sample function within functions.php anywhere in this file you should be okay now let's go and let's take a look at this scenario let's say example.com let's save changes as you can see the error message is actually still there but it's not displaying anymore make sense to demonstrate the point once again let's say that's pointing to a different domain let's save changes as you can see all looks okay meaning as long as you're receiving the emails and there are no problems whatsoever you can actually use the sample function to hide that message so it doesn't annoy you so let me revert it back as I've said one of the commenters valued commenters saying you know what I've got a client is seeing this message and surely then will look not smart on the developers part because it's not easy to explain to a client why the error message is shown there so you can either make sure the email address that you provide here matches exactly to the domain name the WordPress is installed on or you can use the sample function that I've created you can actually download that sample function on my blog where is it where is it let's refresh this page I'll show you the link to that so simply you download this open that functions up copy the function itself place it into the functions for your theme make room for it place it in there update the file and then you won't be you know you won't see the error message again 
I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.